All right, Zach Apple, third place, correct in the 100 free Yeah, yeah. Uh, how did that race go for you? Oh, that's pretty good. Um, you know, we're kind of like in the progression towards nationals, have a little, just a little bit of rest coming in, uh, just in the way things are progressing. Um, so I was able to get out pretty well. Coming back was a little slower than I wanted to be, but I mean, 9-4 is, is right on in-season best, so can't complain. Uh, how do you like training with Blake? How it's you... super good. <laughs> Blake's, uh, Blake's awesome. He's a monster in training, so he keeps me keeps me honest and, and you know pushes me every day, so it's a lot of fun. What drew you to IU? Uh, just the training group and the coaching staff is uh, really awesome. So like after Brett like decided that he was going to step down at Auburn, uh, I was like thinking I was probably going to stay. And, and the closer we got to the end of the school year, you know, I thought that if I was going to have a change, I wanted to know, like make sure I knew what I was going to get into, especially coming in these final two years in the uh, like quad. And so just the training group there, the things that they're doing, the guys that they have, you know, it's a great culture. You know, everyone there is trying to get better and trying to be the best they can be. So it's, it's a lot of fun. How much have you learned this last year as a summer? This last year? Yeah. Um, I think I've just learned how to like kind of handle meets like this a little bit better. Just like kind of learn how to like, and, and, and like knowing a lot of the national team guys and stuff has just been, been good. And just kind of like learning how to come and relax and like have fun with these guys and then like kind of switch gears when it comes to race time and just that whole process. How different would you say uh, you are from compared to like two years ago? Uh, a lot different. Um, I think I'm a lot more confident than I was then. Uh, just from experience wise, not really anything, anything like training or anything, but um, just haven't been able to go to Worlds and, and have that experience and race, you know, the best. It's just, it's just always a good learning experience. Just having a guy like Nathan Adrian, does that, uh, did he help you at all at uh, Yeah, World I mean, yeah, Nathan was awesome. I like, try to eat a lot of meals with Nathan and just kind of like, just learn how he works and, and what he does, just because he has, has had such longevity in the sport and, and it's, you know, always been so consistent. So that was great. Um, just, all, you know, just trying to learn something from every guy on the team at Worlds was, was something I was trying to do. Usually it takes a while for people when they change coaches to get adjusted to the training. Have you adjusted, do you think? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, the first few weeks were, were a little rough. We had volume bump from what I was doing at Auburn. Um, but the the past six, six, four to six weeks have been really good. I've gotten a lot of good training in, and it's, it's the, the adjustment period is kind of flipped over to more of a, a steady state and getting, getting work done. And are you going to be studying the same thing you were at Auburn? Yeah, same same degree, everything. Um, credits actually transferred really well. I'm getting, I just got that figured out. So I think I'm still only have one school, one year of school left. So that's nice to have the Olympic, the final Olympic year with no school and just focus on swimming. What are you majoring in? Uh, exercise science. Okay. Yeah. Do you hope to go into coaching or something like that? Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm not really sure. Hopefully swimming for four to six years and then kind of playing it by ear after that. So. Yeah, some time. All right, uh, thanks, Zach. Perfect. Good job tonight, awesome. and good luck for this weekend. Thanks.